supplies. Crepe paper, tissue paper, dollar bills, pair of scissors, double-sided tape, and label and sticker. First step, fold the dollar bill in half three times. Now the next step is optional but I found it extremely helpful in wrapping the surprise ball into a ball. Once you have the base, it's time to start wrapping. Place your dollar bill onto the base, then pick any color and start wrapping. The most important things about surprise balls is that you always want the bottom layer to be entirely covered. You don't want the recipient to guess what color is underneath. Once you're happy with the coverage, cut off the ends, then place another dollar bill and start with a new color. How many layers you end up with is entirely up to you. For this project, I had 10 $1 bills, so I had 10 layers in total. Final layer, take about 80 to 100 inches of the crepe paper, then cut it in half lengthwise. Wrapping with thinner strips gives you a much cleaner finished surprise ball. Now the only times we use tape is for the final layers, more on the decorative side because we want to make sure that the ball does not start unraveling before the recipient is unraveling it themselves. The final step is to place the label onto the gift. Now after the last several weeks of gift wrap experimentation, I have to admit that this is my favorite. There's something about the anticipation and that the fact that the recipient has to go through so many layers before they get to the full gift. <music>